Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 65 of Grim Dawn Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part, people. Although I have done a little bit of bouncing around. I did do a little bit of investigating off camera just to bounce back to the factions. Firstly, let me just say this and let me say no more. Uh, for those people that were screaming at the screen in the last part. I am recording this immediately after the other one. And I said that the... <laughs> I kept saying that I, I, somewhere through the episode I said that I must have done the Witch's Quest and that Skeleton Key area and Forbidden Domain, but I haven't done. It's quite clearly on the screen, it's called The Outcast's Revenge, so it is still there for us to do. It's the only Forbidden Domain that I've not managed to complete. We, If I remember rightly, we got defeated and the Conflagration, or the Conflagration area is the only area that's not got a decent rift gate in it so we needed to find our way back and i had a, a bit of a rage a moment and didn't get back to it now we've also got lost armaments in that conflagration area so conflagration i think is where we're going to go people i'm going to hold off pushing this forward and i'm going to try and get outcast revenge and lost armaments i really want to get that forbidden domain done because it's the only one i've not managed to do and it was a frustrating one as well because we'd nearly, I think we nearly had them as well. It was really frustrating. But I think I've now, at this point, got a lot more in the way. All my resistances are up and stuff. So uh, now, Lost, uh, the conflagration is this area here uh, as we come out of Homestead. So Homestead looks like the place to go. It's always an area that confuses the shit out of me because I can never quite figure out how to get back there. It's really frustrating because it's the one area that doesn't seem to have a, a rift gate on it. But anyway. Let us head to Homestead, people. I also had a look around the... Oh, that was what I was going to show you. Yeah. And the last part, I was like, I'll need to remember where these factions are. Well, it actually tells you. Uh, if you go to factions and click on one, it will tell you the headquarters is at Fort Icon and so forth and so forth. Uh, so on and so forth. And interestingly, one of the ones we've got honours on is the outcast, which is the witch. Uh, but I couldn't find anything they had that I particularly wanted at the moment in any of them. So uh, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. Maybe they will when I get to honoured and stuff. But uh, at the moment, quite happy. So we need to go for... Right, if that's north... A... How do you change? Oh, yeah, there you go. So if we're facing north, then conflagration is over to our right, in theory. And it was a real bloody ball ache to find it last time. Oh, there's a path over there. I think that's that's stopped by a gate, isn't it? Um, anyway, first and foremost, I think we should probably try and... We'll maybe find it on the way, but lost armaments is also conflagration lost cannons in the conflagration and I feel like it's possible it could be up that section but there was also a part that was blocked by some sort of magical ward I think if I remember rightly I could be wrong so we need to find a way back up there possibly that that section I think is where the lost armaments bit I think need, was but we didn't have enough resistances to get past the the green shears so here we go, people. Let's uh, see if we can find a way through it. We're going to get next to no XP in this area, I would have thought. And enemies will die in a heartbeat. Right, we're back in the conflagration. Fuck. I'm going to die. Yeah. I wouldn't have died if I hadn't got fucking... Why is it taking me back here? That is so frustrating, like... <laughs> why is it taking me to Fort Icon when I'm quite clearly at Homestead? Yes, I wouldn't have died if... Uh I hadn't got jammed between all those enemies, people. Could have kept running. 
keep on running. Keep on Stop supping the life out of me. Thank you. Christ, you think I was in my silk pyjamas the way that that's taking health off me. I mean, I've got so much, but well, practically max protection against that shit. Well, I have got max protection, in fact. 80%. 9% over it, in fact. Uh, why is this a dangerous domain? Has this always been a dangerous domain? Anyway. I clearly haven't been round these parts before. I oh, know, I must have done. It's discovered. Never mind, just keep going. We're in the conflagration, that's the main thing. Interestingly, I don't ever recall seeing Lost Armament stars pitching up on the map while I was... I thought I picked up my XP. I did not. I also would like these things here. Still level 50 odd enemies, these. Uh, level 50 drops as well. I have to have a little wonder about to find the lost armament. Armaments. Well, they're not over here. I mean, look at the, the the damage it does instantaneously is just outrageous, even though I've got 80% protection. Although, hmm, Dangerous Domain's doing what to me? Yeah, sleep resistance, reduced petrify resistance. Player movement speed is greatly reduced, but crowd control doesn't last long. So I get, I get those as bonuses then, presumably. Nice. the old ether crystals on me which is pretty decent uh, we must have been in that place there surely well they're level four. we'll just pick them up just confusing otherwise I feel like we must have been in there. Sure, it rings a massive bell, so... Ooh, got a blue there. Yeah, ether or rift, I'm sure we've been in there. Pretty sure the ar the armaments were in there. It'd give us a little uh, a little star. I'm sure.
thing is though, if I, I mean, I've walked this ground before, clearly. So why is it that I've never seen the Lost Armaments uh, cannons? Seems a bit weird. Must be, yeah, well mind you, on the map it did seem to suggest there was a big part I hadn't gone into, but I still feel like that might have been a magical blah that I'd not been into. Yeah, it's that bit there. I've not been further up that path. So, new territory is imminent. Let's put a little uh, rift down there, people. Thank you. And let's hope there's an opening further up. Ooh, a little stop gap, thank you. Looks like... That's dead. Yeah, it looks like we can get in up here. It's a whole new area. A whole new area for you and me. You're welcome. That's that video copyrighted. Nice. <laughs> Scarecrow's coming at us, people. Yeah, there was a crystal back there that I didn't get. I thought I wasn't going to get hurt there in that middle bit, but I was. Right, there's a bit up there we've not been to, and there's a bit up here. Which, which, which one first? Looks like it might have been two paths to the same place. A barn. Very nice to get the old lost armaments off of our uh, screen after about a gazillion hours. Well, yeah, it looks like a hole. Well, there's a totem next to us, certainly. Certainly no way I would have been able to do this section earlier in the game, I don't think. Yeah, there's a little bit over there I missed, wasn't there? Not 
sure there's not much there, but I'm sure I would have seen a star pitch up if it was anything of interest for the quest. of the flame. He's a big badger. Enemy boss killed. He did. Order of Death Vigil, reputation's gone up. Fucking hell, this is a totem and a half, isn't it? With all that shit flying around the place. Oh, hello, we've got a star, though. Oh, it's shiny. Oh, hello. Well, there'll be dynamite over there, look. The path is broken. Wonder what be over there. Well, uh... Ha! Abandoned cannon, thank you. Claim this resource for the Black Legion. Return to Weapon Master, blah, blah. Now, I'm assuming there's only one, and when we return, that'll be off our screens. We do have the totem to do still. Well, if we died and lost our XP, it would be rather devastating, wouldn't it? So should we put a portal up, and we'll stick one of them doing, and one of them doing, and... Well, quite a few things that are all 51 and so forth. That's only a level 30 ring, that. Glyph of Ashen Wastes. Badge of the Crimson Company, Epic Medal, level 50. Well, we were talking about replacing our medal. It's got bleed and resist, high bleed and resistance on it. It's got pierce damage, bleeding. Da Ooh, we've just, we've just added bleeding to our arsenal, haven't we? And it's got plus 49% bleeding damage on it. 45, plus 45 cunning as well. Well, I think that's as much as we can do out here. However, I would quite like to have found... I'm sure that witch's thing was not in... 
a that ethereal rift or whatever it was we found I'm sure it wasn't I could be wrong though because I think we've pretty much been right through the conflagration haven't we it's possible that it hasn't put the star on it Now I can't remember where the fracking thing is, but never mind. Oh, fuck. Blocked by cows. Why am I confused, people? How do we get out of here? Uh, it's there. No, because that's where it was blocked. So we need to come back over here. Yeah, over again and then over again. Feel like this might be where that portal was. Alright. Not there. There we go. Yes, this is where we need to be for the Witch's Quest people. So if we leave our little portal outside. This treacherous domain should then take us to the Forbidden Domain. Port Valbury is definitely where we want to be. <coughs> right, we're on to level 61 enemies here, so things are going to start getting a bit real again. Just hoping I'm going to get some decent XP out of it, but yeah, we seem to be getting a little bit here actually. Might be okay. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah, we are, we are, we are. Right, don't mind being in here if we're going to get decent XP and a level up. Thank you. thing was dead there. I was trying to pick the stuff up from the floor. Yes, yeah, so the only big downside here is that uh, it's doing that thing with the radio map where it's not actually telling me that I 
what I've discovered and not discovered on this map. Unless it's... Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe it's green where I've been and... No, it can't be because that top right section's all... Yeah, and I've ran through here and that's still grey. Yeah, so that's slightly annoying. It's not telling me where I've not discovered. But, um, I have to judge it by enemy at this point. I think it will on the big map. I've had this conversation with ourselves before, people. It's kind of telling us on the green, yeah, the, the sort of coloured in areas are where we've been. It's sort of telling us. Reputation with Outcast again. We've actually got enough money, I think, to buy the plus 50% with that reputation with that as well. So we could even boost it up even higher. Give me a higher rep. Oh. Doing a bit of damage. Can't, I've said this before, but I can't believe I was actually going hunting for ether crystals at one point because I just couldn't find enough of them. They fixed that in the DLC, didn't they? I mean. There's no way that you're doing this part of the game without 80% <laughs> resistance on bloody ethereal damage, like, There's no way.
reached honored status with somebody there. Didn't quite get enough time to see who it was. But I'll take it. Have a look in a minute when it calms down. <laughs> How many of these badges are there? Could have been the Rovers. Don't remember the, the Rovers being honoured before. Just gone over it, look. Ah, it looks like it. Be good to get one of them to revered, though. Get all the cool options for purchasing. No idea from going the right way, people. But we're getting decent XP, so I'll take it. damn fucking moving puddles people winding me right up ether crystals are like pokemon people you gotta get them all gotta get them all expecting that.
Well, that was a shitstorm I wasn't quite expecting, and I've probably fought it before, but... This is what I mean. I mean, look how long it takes to get to the bloody <laughs> forbidden bit. Never mind finding your way back when you fail. It's no wonder I didn't bother coming back. Mind you, we can stick a portal up in here right now. I oh, know, no, no, that's the whole point, isn't it? You can't. Because you can only go into the skeleton key domains once per session, which means you've got to reload the game. Which means your little portal that you put up in the field is gone when you reload it. So you've got to do all of this again if you want to attempt it again. Valbury, that's got to be one that we've already done, surely. I have a vague recollection of this one. Yeah, restored shrine. feeling quite as invincible as I thought I might do in this section to be fair a couple of times I've had to watch the health which would prove that the domain the forbidden domain part is going to be hard work again people I would think Let's see if we can get a wee level up before we go in maybe Say the bloody fly, <laughs> the buzzing uh, sound effect is dominating everything in my headset. Like. Just seems to be an entrance there, doesn't there? Certainly a glowing spot. Where it be, people, where it be?
Ah, uh, here we go. This is the gate here. Me getting hammered here. I actually forgot about this fight. So every time you fail in that skeleton key gate, you've got to do all of this again. From the top. Well, that's a 798 armoured helm. Rune of Callistor on my old one. Bonuses. Resistances of Vitality. Well, really, the big loss is vitality, and then I need to make sure I put my poison resistance back on. But, yeah, it's a shame that it's got vitality damage all over it, but not resistance. Decent armor, that. Two-handed ranged, which isn't going to be as good as the two-handed I've got. And Calidor's Vestments. Epic chest. What? Epic caster chest armor. That's a blue. Why does it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Epic. Yeah. Epic caster chest armor. Calidor's right as part of a set. Right, let's clear the decks here a little bit. And this is the other problem as well. I've got so much shit in here now. Mind you, I've got two tabs left. But even still, I'm going to pick a lot of stuff up in that other area. I need to drop half of this. Well, as well get rid of that badger while we're at. Didn't quite get our level up, did we? That we wanted before we were going to go in. And we'll get it pretty soon after we go in if we can stay alive long enough. Valbury Gates. What time are we on, people? Well, we're on 45 minutes. Get get 15 minutes of it done. I mean, these areas tend to be really long, don't they? I can't remember how far in this was. They will not remain open for long. Like that concerned me the first time I went into one of these, thinking I was going to run out of time.
Right, Forbidden Domain, here we come. Alright, <laughs> it did actually mean that they don't stay open for long then, so you've got to walk through them. I see I see what it means now. <laughs> it's a good job I stepped forward. I was actually uh, I was actually taking notes there before I was going to go forward into the... Holy shit. Oh, that was the bit I saw from over there. The glowing light. Right, so we're in the area. Here we go, people. Here we go. Right, what is our detriments? We've got... Afflicted. Players have a reduced have reduced health but are more resistant to vitality drains. How much health am I losing? Minus 10%. Total damage modified. But, uh, monsters land critical strikes more often but deal reduced damage. Okay. But my offensive goes up. Plus 25 offensive ability and plus 4% offensive ability. And monsters have greatly increased movement speed but are also susceptible to crowd control. Okay. I get a bonus of uh, monsters have a, oh, monsters have a greatly improved speed. So that plus eight percent movement speed is for them or me. <laughs> uh, okay, might be confusing myself as to who's getting the benefits out of some of that stuff and who's getting the deficits. But anyway, all right, people. Here we go again. Let's see if I can last as long and hopefully longer. Let's play it wisely and not cocky. Here's my plan. also another area that is going to say discovered for pretty much all of it might as well milk the areas though and not rush it because uh, decent XP I would have thought in here yeah we're getting good XP in it Actually, uh, I think well, I was probably probably more frustrated that I actually like this area as a forbidden domain area because it's not like a lot of the others where it's just it plunged into darkness and what have you. It's like a proper, you know, the Port Velbury town area. Yeah, we're going to get a nice quick level up here at some point very soon. He says cockily, as if he's not going to die. That was a tidal wave thing that went at them there, it was brilliant.
out. Ooh, spit away, people. A gnat's ball hair away from leveling up here. Here we go, come on. <laughs> Just didn't quite make it on that that little set of enemies. And ride your pony! Level 65, people, eh? 65. We're getting there. Wooden door. Uh. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were just going to open a wooden door. Like we could go good going back, actually, and. Uh yeah, let's just go back in here for a sec. Where well, we know it's a bit safer because we've killed everything. Well, people, well. Uh, our cunning is probably okay for the time being because we've been getting uh, a little bit of the devotion tree has been giving us some cunning, hasn't it? Let's see if we can get our physique over 600. Ooh, we've still got a couple of level ups to get that done, I think. Can't remember what I was doing in these skills now. Well, I think we were ooh, only one away from maxing out the ice move. It's such a shame you only get two at the, you know, once you hit 50. I'm not seeing any great reason to keep pummeling that in for now. I mean, yeah, you get plus 103 physique, don't you? <laughs> I mean, there is that reason alone. 103 physique and plus 164 cunning. I mean, fucking hellfire. Worth sticking a point in just to get that booned up, isn't it? Um, well, let's get this maxed out. This is going to take us to 98% cold damage and 98% pierce damage, plus. 32% slower enemy attacks and 250 reduced target defensive ability for 5 seconds. So, I think it'd be crazy not to do that. So that's our ice move maxed out without perks going on it, of course. A uh, bit of an argument to say bring the storm box of Egoloth back, but uh, we've still got some points we can be sticking in the word of pain, of course. Yeah, that elemental damage is doubling each time it goes up, isn't it? On that one, anyway. Word of Agony. That's the lightning damage increase. We've actually maxed that. That's got a plus three on it. And that's giving us... Well, it's increasing the fire damage and cold damage. Yeah, I suppose. It's an argument for it. Because you're then getting the percentages on top, presumably, there. Yeah, plus 75%, plus 75% card. So we can go with that, or we can go with the storm box of Egoloth, but it's kind of pointless that, because, well, yeah, I think we'll stick with using what we've got for now. I'm thinking one in there rather than one in there. Yeah, because that's not doing us a huge amount of benefit, other than elemental damage, which I'm not... Well, I suppose we'll use the lightning and frost, but... I feel like I'll get more out of that for the time being. Yeah, because it's not a percentage on top of elemental damage. It's just, like, a low amount of elemental damage at the minute. It'll get a lot higher as you go up, but... Yeah. I think... I'm assuming those minuses are against the enemy. So let's stick it in here. 
That's going to take our damages up by... Yeah, it's not a huge jump though, is it? It's only going up by like 10 points on the cold and fire damage and stuff. It's not like it's a massive amount. Just having a quick scan to see what else we've got. Oh, we could stick it in there right enough. Which is the word renewal which is the other one we're using we took points off of these elements of it because we didn't think they were doing as much in the way of great further up the tree but here we're still doing pretty well with it so it's going to go up uh, 9% uh, 300 plus 9% plus 330 health restored whereas the moment uh, it doesn't actually tell us what health is getting restored, does it, at the moment? Oh, yeah, 8% plus 290. So it's doing an extra 40 plus 9%. 4% uh, less damage from Eldritch. Plus 25, plus 25 defensive goes up to plus 34 defensive ability. So, plus 9% movement speed. Um, might be worth sticking that in, you know, instead of the word of pain. Sod it. I am using the word of pain quite a quite a bit to be fair. Um, I don't see that small jump helping me in here. Um, Two hundred and thirty. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It is done. Well, actually, as it happens, we're on the hour mark, so... I think that... We'll use the opportunity we've got here where there's a bit of a breather to let me... Because I think this the rest of this area could well be an hour. I mean, it was a, it was a big area for him, but all of these forbidden domains seem to take a while. So, I, I think we'll start the next part from here, people. Yeah, so we'll see if I can actually make it through this... Well, this last forbidden domain that I'm aware of. I, I think I've done the others that are accessible at this point. It's the only one that I've certainly come across that I've not done. So there you go, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Grim Dawn Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.